Hi there, Jason Walker, Berkshire Hathaway Preferred Real Estate Group, Gillette, Wyoming. Today we're going to take some time out and uh, discuss whatever what's on everybody's minds, the rising interest rates and the concern of affordability with real estate. This particular video is going to be a real life example of a property we currently have on the market located at 7701 Red Hills Road, Gillette, Wyoming. Uh, but before we get started, I'm going to run through a disclosure real quick so that you guys all understand where this is coming from. This is not an offer of credit, and, but it's just a general illustration of typical mortgage terms and concepts. I myself, Jason Walker, nor Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Preferred Real Estate Group are mortgage lenders. You should contact your specific lender to learn more about mortgage products and your eligibility for said products. Okay, now that we got that disclosure out of the road, um, let's get started um, with this because affordability may not be as bad as you may assume. Uh, we know it's changing and it's more aggressive than it's been in the last 10 years probably. Uh, well, that, let's roll through this. Uh, these examples so you understand what we're talking about. <clears throat> so I've created these uh, mortgage payment forms uh, focusing on conventional loan only. So this particular property is listed currently for $575,000. So if our purchase price is $575,000 and you do a 10% down payment, your loan amount would be $517,500. If you break that down, you'll have a monthly uh, principal and interest payment of $3,530. Mortgage insurance, because you haven't done your you're not at your 20% equity position, so you'll be forced into paying mortgage insurance of nearly $225,000. And then your monthly tax and insurance escrow of <clears throat> approximately $470. That would give you a payment of $4,224.10. That is at 7.25% interest rate. This example is the same thing, 10%, 575,000 at 6.8% interest. Notice that your end payment is $4,024. I mention this because currently this week, uh, and today is November 3rd, 2022, uh, rates are fluctuating on a conventional loan between 6.8 and 7 and a quarter, depending on uh, other factors that involve our buyers but these are the ranges that the lenders are giving us this week so we have that payment range with a 10 percent down payment uh, so we're here we're four thousand twenty five dollars here we're forty two hundred and twenty five dollars so a two hundred dollar spread on the difference of 0.45 percent interest rate <clears throat> Next, we got a uh, same thing, $575,000 purchase price with a 25% down payment. Now I mention this because most buyers in this price range are likely to be able to, to do this at least, right? Um, at a 6.8% interest rate on a 30 year term, if you dissect this out like we did before, your principal and interest payment, portion payment, would be $2,811. Look here, your mortgage insurance is gone because you've passed the 20% threshold here, you're 25. So this part is gone, unlike the, the two previous examples. Your monthly tax and insurance escrow, $426, giving you a monthly payment of $3,000. $238 basically. That same example again, 
at a 7.25% interest rate. $3,411 is your monthly payment total. Again, the mortgage interest is gone. Uh, so the difference between those two, uh, essentially $200 again, uh, but we're locking that mortgage interest. So when you're asking yourself how much of a down payment or you're, you're consulting with your mortgage lender on how much down payment you should do, uh, I think that's an important conversation to have. Um, now this particular property, the reason I'm bringing up this particular property is because it has a guest house and currently it has a renter paying a thousand dollars a month rent. So with all four of these scenarios, your payment range is in between $3,240 and $4,225. Now if you got somebody living on the property and they're paying a thousand dollars, you can all of a sudden drop your payment range to $2,240 to $3,225. That would be your obligation out of pocket if you subsidize your payment with what the renters are paying currently. You could raise their rent payment or you know do things like that to help uh, add additional dollars to that but for the sheer sake of this example if they're paying a thousand dollars that brings your affordability down and all of a sudden this is more affordable this property is more affordable than you thought now the flip side of that and the last illustration i want to do for you is called an equity accelerator so instead of using the renter's uh, $1,000 monthly payment to subsidize your, your mortgage payment, you can actually accelerate your payment. Um, so I did, I just used the example of uh, seven and a quarter percent interest rate for 30 years uh, with a loan amount of $431 and $431,250. So if you went from making a payment of $2,940 a month and adding the $1,000, you could save yourself $26,000 in overall interest paid on your mortgage and take your 30-year loan and have it paid off in 22 years. See this? Years, savings in years, 8.17 years. That's you have a 30-year mortgage paid off in 22 years. Now take it one step further. Say you wanted uh, your goal setting and you wanted to have your mortgage paid off in 15 years and you never refinanced in the middle of that. Well, if you want to have it paid off in 15 years, you would need to commit to paying just shy of $1,800 or $1,782 per month to take your 30-year down to a 15-year mortgage. The amount of interest savings that you gain, look at that everybody, $208,748. Almost $209,000 you can save yourself in 15 years. So I challenge you all to, to stop and pause for a second and uh, consider all these things as you're, you're weighing out how, how to navigate through the, the environment that we're currently in right now. And uh, if you got questions or wanna learn more about how this affects you personally, uh, every situation I've learned is different through the years. Uh, more than happy to have you come into the office and, and sit down and visit and we can go through scenarios like this and see what it means for you. Uh, appreciate your time, and like I said, um, contact us. My cell phone number is 307-340-1108, or my partner, Kenny Kundal, 307-689-7997. Thanks, and have a good day.